Jack. Ted. Coffee. And new one wheels. What are we here to do today? Yeah, Ted? so obviously we got two new boards on the table here. We have the all new redesigned flagship model, the GT, alongside Boom. the Pine X. In this video, we're gonna talk about some of the features and uh, have a casual conversation so you at home can find out what board is right for you. All right, so here we go. We got two new boards on the table, Jack. Pine X, yep. give us a rundown. Well, uh, Pine X, very excited. This thing has the specs, roughly of an XR, the speed, the range, just jammed into that small, compact pint body. Perfect for taking with you and hitting that city. GT. GT. Fully redesigned, more power, more torque, more range, and all the details just really dialed for that, that, that prosumer one wheel rider. Totally. Uh, we can dive into that in here in a second, but. Let's start with Pine. Let's start with Pine. All of the features that we know and love from Pint, right? It's got the mag handle built into the side here for carrying. It's got the LED light bar uh, for battery status and whatnot. Same pressure sensitive foot pad, small size, which I think is, is really key in certain situations. And then it's got, you can see here, a little bit more battery, a little bit more juice packed in there. We're talking 12 to 18 miles of range, and then an additional two miles per hour on the top end here for Pine X which is uh, a game changer, getting up to about 18 miles per hour. It's a big deal. It's, it's like when you're able to comfortably ride an XR, it's the same feeling put into a pint. Sure, um, yeah, that, which, that cruising speed opens up for you. 14, 15, you know, which is, uh, which is essential when you're going places, so. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about charge time on this Pine X. Being that it does have double the range, you know, that makes the charge time twice as long, yep. around uh, three hours, 45 minutes. However, we still offer the Pine Ultra Charger that cuts that down to an hour, 50 minutes. Yep. If you want to get back out there on the road, you know, they're 18 miles, you know, you're an animal, but we got we got it for you. Yep, absolutely. Always be charging. Yeah. All right, Ted, who is Pint X for? Pine X is the board for everyone. It's everything you need, nothing you don't. It's got the range you, you would like to go from point A to point B. Easy to carry around town, pop in a cafe, bring it on a bus. Whatever you want to do, Pine X has it for you. Pound for pound, the people's champ. And at the at the price point that it's at, I think it's an amazing value. Now, Jack, what's what's the price tag on this Pine X? Pine X is checking in at $1,400, and that, Ted, is a fantastic deal for what you're getting here. All right, Ted, so Pint X accessories, of course, the same ecosystem as the Pine accessories. Means we got fenders, we got rail guards, we got bumpers, mag handles. Make it yours, go online, customize your board. OneWheel.com. All right, well, should we kick it over to the GT? Yeah. Big dog. Oh, you gotta eat. <laughs> well, to dress the uh, elf in the room, we got a whole new board here. We got a whole new board here. I mean, I think that's the exciting thing, right, Ted, is that One Wheel Plus XR, from a design standpoint, basically the same thing as One Wheel Plus. True. And One Wheel Plus, from a design standpoint, basically the same thing as original One Wheel. So this is really the first time there's been a complete blank slate redesign. From, the things, from the things we learned of all those years. From the things that we've learned and we've heard. So. Super excited. I think the big ones that we can touch on right off the bat, more power, more torque, and more range. It's the holy trinity in terms of capabilities. And then let's dive into some of these details. What are some of the details that you are looking at here you were excited about, Ted? Very exciting. We now have front concave. Woo! It's a blessing. Front and rear concave really locks your foot in when you're riding off off-road, along with the grippy grip tape. Yep. That's a mouthful for you. Super uh, great grip tape. But yeah, you could you could do some damage on your fingertips here, which you should. Absolutely. You get that grip thumb, you can be a real skater. Then we got a slightly narrower or rounder tire here. It's it's a little bit carvier, I would say, than the uh, coming from the XR tire. Really excited about how that rides. You know, between the concave foot pad and the narrower tire, this is the most carvy one wheel um, that's ever been ever for sure. been built. Uh, we also, too, added some features that people love from Pint, such as the light bar uh, right. for your battery percentage. That's simple right. stop for a lot of people is going to be sure. a, a mind-blowing experience. I'm a simple stop guy. Yeah, I love it. I think it's great. Another nice detail here. So GT has the Mag Handle Pro built in. That's right, not just the standard Mag Handle, the Mag Handle Pro. And then, of course, uh, let's talk lumens. 500. 500 lumens. It's a lot. Don't look down the barrel. 
on this one. Don't look down the barrel, because you will get blasted with 500 lumens to the face. You can't even recover from that, yeah. so. But it is nice to ride down the street with. Yes, it's yeah. nice at nighttime, just don't look, yeah, you get it. Let's um, talk about that uh, power and torque. Let's talk about power and torque, yeah. So what does more torque mean, Ted? Now, there's 50% more torque across all speed. What does that mean in the one wheel world? So across all speed, right, you have torque right when you step on the wheel and you're, and you're starting to get going, right? You feel that torque. You're gonna feel that torque even more so when you're riding at a higher speed, which is very important for carrying out the momentum, whether on the trail or on the road or, or really riding anywhere. Um, it yeah. makes you feel more comfortable on the board, gives you that more power, and overall it just feels like, you know, a whole another extra horsepower. I, that's right, it's three horsepower, which is just like, it's it's crossing a huge line. It's like monumental. We've been in the two horsepower world this entire time, so yeah. three is pretty exciting. And I think like, just hopping back to the torque thing briefly, if you've ridden one wheels a lot, you, you kind of understand this, but if you're sort of more new to one wheel, when you think of more torque, you think of getting really gnarly out yeah. there, right? But I think a big thing you might not think of is just the level of comfortability riding at 16, 17 miles an hour. With 50% more torque and more power, you know, riding at 16, 17 goes from feeling like you're maybe, you know, on the edge to really feeling like you're locked in. Range. Up to 32 miles on this one. You know, there's kind of two camps here. There's the people that want to go on legitimately 30 mile rides. Maybe you're in the back country exploring some trails. And then there's people that just want to charge your one wheel once per week, you know, and take it out to the corner store and back and not have to worry about plugging it in, you know, after every trip. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a total game changer. 32 miles is gonna is gonna bring you on some some epic rides. And it's gonna be so nice, you're not gonna pull out of the van and be like, oh no, this one only has 20%. Right. You know, like, yeah, I'll be 20, riding for 15 minutes. 20% is pretty good now, <laughs> yeah. you know? Like, not, not yeah. bad. All of that goodness wrapped up, one wheel GT, 2,200 bucks. How long is it gonna take you to charge your brand new GT? Well, that's a good question, Ted. With the standard charger, it's about three hours to charge up your GT. With the faster charger, it's uh, about an hour and a half. Who is the GT for, right? The GT yep. is for the person who wants the best of the best. You I get the so. range, you get the power, you get the torque. Yep. You have the ultimate shredding machine. Yeah, I think, I think exactly you hit the nail on the head here, Ted. GT is for professional fun havers. All right, let's talk GT accessories. Standard fender that you know love. Nice detail here, GT has the fender delete like uh, Pint does, so this fender is tuck in super, super cherry. Uh, got the standard, got the carbon fiber. This thing is nice. Personally, I like GT best visually with the carbon fiber fender, I think it looks super mean. We also have, I mean, pick your fave, you know? This yellow is pretty hot. Yellow is super hot. Rail guards. Comes with rail guards as well. You can protect your investment. As if there wasn't enough for you in this video. MagHandle Pro. A MagHandle Pro in color. color. They said it couldn't be done. MagHandle Pro in color. Attaches to your board like that. So all these accessories are available for you. OneWheel.com, you can actually customize your board, put it together, and order it. Pretty exciting. Get your accessories for your GT. And I know what you're thinking. Is there a treaded tire option? Why, yes, there is. Well, folks, in conclusion, we got our Pinex, we got our GT. A whole new era of one wheeling is upon us. Very excited. Hopefully, this video gives you an idea of kind of like the high level overview on uh, both of these boards and which one might be right for you. Again, Pinex, small, compact, has the speed, has the range, perfect for going places. GT, it's power, it's torque, it's more range, and all of those details that give you just a premium riding experience. If you've been thinking about getting a one wheel, think about upgrading your one wheel, I mean, clearly this is the time. Make sure you're following us on Instagram, at one wheel, and you can subscribe to our YouTube yeah. channel here. Yeah. We're gonna have a lot more content for both of these products coming out soon, so stay tuned. All right, well. All right, well, we're, we made it to the end. Let's get out of here. You gotta pick up some of this on <clears throat> Okay, you gonna go with your method first? Or you want my method first? You let, yeah. Look what you got. Okay, this one's also Lasers camping one. So, ooh, this spout, you know. Okay, so you kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. cover the bases a little bit. Full coverage. 
Then you let her go. And then I think you could even time it if you wanted to, but now I'm gonna go counterclockwise. Really? Okay, you might actually be uh, more sophisticated than I am, if I'm honest. Well, we didn't measure the grams as coffee, so. I put a lot on there. This is satisfying. Watch, I will say. To be honest, I don't really do this that often. Okay. You had some way you're gonna need to pour more water in there. Yeah, I think it's probably now. So actually watching you was pretty inspirational because I just let mine rip all at once. I thought you said let it bloom. Well, I like get it covered oh, like yeah, this, yeah. but I just kind of keep going and keep going. And uh, all clockwise, I've never- Switched her up. I've never considered counter clockwise. You still got a fat clump that you can touch though. Well, see, I leave that, that's a flavor crystal that I leave to the end. <laughs> okay. And then right at the end, I just boom, just to, it's kind of an espresso yeah. kind of shot in there. That's real. And then Adam told me that you want to go where the line is light. I mean, it seems like you're doing that too. Screw the GT versus Pine Axe. We're just going to do a full coffee. Let me know what you think about this. It's a, uh, it's a Sumatra dark blend from uh, Alta Coffee in Santa Cruz. Mm. Bit hot. It's hot. 